What's up guys, welcome to the third part of the Zappy build. Today I'm actually going to be working on the jack shaft and mounting the motor. So I actually got the jack shaft right here. Sprocket, sprocket, two pillow block bearings right here. And then in the center I just made a, uh, a disc brake. It's just a pulley that fits on a, a 3 fourths inch shaft and then I just welded it around like that and that's basically how I make my brakes because I looked everywhere online for something that goes on the shaft and then this bolts onto it but I couldn't find the one that I needed so I just improvised and did it on my own and that just goes on like that nice and straight all right, so here's the jack shaft all laid out for us. Um, I had to cut a little niche out of the frame so that the disc brake can go through. Basically, all I'm gonna do is cut this off right here, this little strip, and put it lengthwise across right here. And then I'm just gonna weld bolts onto that. There's that strip right here. And then that's just gonna go right on there. I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. Alright guys, check it out. The jack shaft is complete. That's awesome. So now, now what I gotta do is uh, put the uh, engine on her. And another thing is I also bought a uh, brand new brake caliper. These are cheap, man. These are like 10 bucks. Go like right here or probably in the front like that. Well guys, I'm just trying to come up with some sort of strategy how to put the motor on and so far this is the only way I could think of and it's basically just raising the motor up off the frame a couple inches so that the torque converter has enough clearance for everything uh, so basically what I'm probably gonna do is just build a, like a, a frame you know like a, a square tubing frame uh, just put the motor on top of that and then just run it to the jack shaft so yeah let me do that and it'll be our beat all right so here it is the uh, engine mounting plate just kind of hanging there I still got to make another support there somehow but there's three and uh, now I gotta line up the chain and uh, make the chain to size and then I could finally bolt in the engine. And luckily I had this big uh, thing of sheet metal here. Well not necessarily sheet metal but um, yeah just cut it rectangle out of it and uh, that's the engine plate right there. I got the, uh, the engine on there, got the chains all hooked up. One thing I did was uh, replace this with a slightly larger sprocket and uh, just hooked up a, a, a throttle really quickly and then obviously I put a seat on there and this is from the other zappy that's in there um, I just you need something to sit down on when you're riding it so let's uh, take it for a spin really quick
Well guys, that was the, uh, the test ride there. Um, as you might have saw from the video, it's a little bit heavy in the back, so it, you have to lean forward to go up hills and stuff or else you'll kind of flop backwards. So I think what I might have to do is cut this and extend it a little bit further and that would probably solve. I mean, it's not too terrible, so I think that would be good enough. But other than that, it goes about as fast as I want it to. Uh, a little faster than that would probably be a little scary, so it's good enough for me. Yeah, we're almost done. All right, well guys, this was part three. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you guys next time.